Hello, myself, and anyone else who ever has a problem with uh, the sketch themes theme called full screen right here. Uh, after you install this to your WordPress uh, dashboard, you have to configure it, and there's absolutely no documentation on it. This is a gorgeous, gorgeous theme. It's awesome um, for a number of reasons, but this is not going to talk about that because this is going to tell you how to do stuff. So, right, right, right. So, haha, <laughs> menus, right. Under menus, you need to have these here, uh, at least I think, so I've just put them there by uh, creating the pages, uh, clicking on them, right, and then adding them to the menu. So once that's done, uh, this is what I did first, and so this video isn't about that, and I can't tell you what I didn't do first, because I didn't do it first. I did this first. So this was already here, so make sure this is here. If your stuff isn't working, then you'll need to go and make those. Go to Pages, which happens to be, by the way, where you make these, and uh, this, you have to make the pages that are called whatever. Uh, I just made them called, make made them be called the same stuff they're supposed to be in the uh, theme as it is in the advertised version. Uh, wherever that is. <laughs> right, in the advertised version here, which they were nice enough to come and set up for me because I was having problems and they wanted to get a good review. And so that's fine. This, the theme gets a great review. The setup doesn't for me, but it's still worth it. So I just uh, have this set up like it is with them, and I've been replicating it. This is a test site, and this is another test site. So I just replicated what they had in their back end here on their pages page. Hello. Yes, their pages page. It looks just like this, so I just put all those pages in here. And great. So the only thing that ever showed up for me was the About Us page. Uh, and it, it showed up here under About Us, which was great. And that's fine. But nothing else ever showed up. So you would only have this and then the bottom of the page. Um, so that got fixed by noticing that under Template here, uh, it was... Everything except the About Us page was set to default, default template, and so nothing showed up. So all you need to do is go and set all of your pages back here to be their corresponding, uh, like I just barely did the blog one, and now it shows up under blog, blog, except you have to click on it better than that, apparently. Um, you have to find the blog page template, which these... Uh, after you install the theme, are already there. So, God knows how they got there. It's some developer magic. And developers, as we know, are so magical that they forget that we're not magic. And so that's why I'm making this video. Because my not magical ass is needing to use developers' magic -y bits. And holy God, I tell you. Okay, so the theme is now sexified and beautiful because you have set all of your pages to go to their corresponding spots right here. And you're good to go. Uh, let's say portfolio, and we'll go to portfolio. And look, it even has the dummy content here. How nice is that? Dummy content here. So, right. Yay. Let me think if there's anything else I want to include here. One sec. May as well talk about the... Uh, photos that happen to be in this portfolio for fun and let's see in portfolios you've got to go to the full screen portfolio tab that is also created for you under your sketch themes thing and you make all of these and I, again I was just trying to duplicate what the original Hoonanery had in it and their Hoonanery happened to have all of these images, which show up better if your screen is like that, um, 
which I happen to have in my WordPress dashboard because they were nice enough to go in and, and make that work. So I had them. I created all of these nonsenses uh, to try to get them the things to show up. Had some problems with it. And so, so let's just pick, like, random whatever, Project th 3, right here. Edit. And... Here's the page with the text, uh, but you want the photo to show up, so you need to go to Featured Image. And this actually took me a million years to find. Uh, so select that, and you can upload files from your computer or your media li or just have the ones in your media library or what have you. And you select the one. I don't know what's selected for this one. I think there's nothing selected for this one. So let's select one for fun, and actually let's upload one. And we'll make it a hot anime chick. We will make it lightning from Final Fantasy 13 because she's a hot chick. All right, so then you have to select it too. So don't forget to select it or else it won't go anywhere. You don't have to touch any of this crap. And you say, set featured image. There's a featured image. If you want to get all crazy with it, notice that this is not the same configuration that uh, the original... Let me show you the original image, actually... Here is the... I'm going to drag in the original image. So it is rectangular. Uh, this is square. It does a pretty decent job of coming in on things. It just uh, pulls in from the... God damn it. Right. The left and the right, like you'd expect. And so it crops toward the center, and that's what it does. If your image is tall, it crops toward the center. So... It's okay. It doesn't ruin your images, even if you don't want to mess with it. But if you want to get Photoshop-y, then crop into a square, and you should be all right. And we've already done this, I believe. But I'm clicking it, clicking it again just for fun. Update. Remember to update. Always remember to update. And you want to come make sure it's here. So refresh F5, in case you didn't know. And click to see details. We have this huge nonsense, and it, you know, like, this is actually really nice about the theme, is that it lets you dig further into the theme, but for being an infinite scroller, it's really smart. Um, you can nav, you know, back or forth to your various projects there. So, your original image here uh, is not square, notice. So, let's just really quick, since we're already here, we're going to go back and take a look at this, we can actually edit the image from here uh, to make it square the way we want if we don't want to use Photoshop, right? So you go to these nonsenses, right? So you can use this and flip stuff or flip stuff or whatever you want to do, rotation. Um, you can do a custom aspect, aspect ratio, like let's say one in one or four in four, right? And what the crap? It's not happening. Maybe I need to select scale image. I don't know why it wouldn't just happen there. Uh, right. WordPress added this a while ago, and it was cool. But that's just making stuff smaller, right? Um, I think, though, let's say one and two. I don't know why that's not working. Hey, it did something. Uh, right. Cancel this. You'll have to screw around with that on your own. And I'll screw around with it on my own. And maybe one day we'll both be as, be as smart as magic developers. Okay. Anything else? Anything else? Uh, while we're at it, if you're not... If I forget that I have other videos, which I'm stupid and sometimes do, or if you haven't seen the other videos, remember to come to the appearance and full screen options where you can turn stuff on and off in these general settings. Uh, this theme comes custom uh, to you, straight, served on a golden platter with an egg on your face, where everything is selected as on already. And this is actually a really, really easy section to use, although the big problem is that it doesn't do shit. Uh, you need to do it, but it doesn't have an immediate impact on what your stuff looks like. Like, they're, you know, you'll get your home screen, which looks like the original that you purchased, and then you'll get nothing. So, 
if you haven't done this, make sure you do it. That's why, you know, if you're having problems, that may be why. Let's see. Menus, right? Make sure you uh, have your pages that you've created drug in here. Uh, feel free to call this whatever you want. I call it main structure because they called it main st structure. Excuse me. Let's see. Yeah, these are all stuffs you need to set. Uh, for example, team, to get your team to show up under the about section. Right, these are my random web steals, which don't look like theirs. Ha ha ha. Um, to get your team to show up. Yeah, what are you doing? No, go away. I don't know why that's still there. Um, to get your team to show up, you need to go and put your team in, in here, right? And once your team is in here, like Stan Doe, his name, his name, or if you want to call him Stan Doe, but his actual name is You Little Devil, You Naked Monkey, then you'd spell it out here and your dummy text, and here's where you stick their image in, and that's great, and stuff. So this actually populates, by the way. If you put their, if you put Stan's website in here, it'll put a little icon down here with his website. And same for Facebook, Twitter, and LinkedIn. Those show up right here. This is a really, really sexy theme. Uh, the only thing it needs is uh, regular person brains attached to the front, or rather to the, you know, content. I just bought this. I need to use it. And, but it's really nice. Uh, your hot news will show up for you with your blog posts, uh, any and all blog posts, if, where are we, okay, uh, any and all blog posts will show up there, and, uh, note, it's worth noting that, come here, blog posts, uh, show automatically after you post them, there is no need to, uh, check the, I'll just show you. There is no need to go and check the category, um, right? It after you publish it, if you refresh a couple of times, it just does this for you because it needs to show up somewhere, of course. And uncategorized is the spot. Uh, they have a bunch of categories which I'll show you now. Just a sec. Here we go. Categories in their posts. Do, do, do. So here's mine. Here's the one that they helped me with because they're awesome. And we'll go to the same, which was in this case a random post. And I'm on pages like a retard. So I put this here because I'm just like, you know, like that. Now let's go to one of their blog posts. Since they were awesome enough to upload all of their content, like on the template, they have their dummy text. And it happens to be in news. It has to show up someplace. And going over to their little page, blog, finding revolutionary theme. Revolutionary theme will be released soon. Of course, I don't spell well or at all. I don't type well either. And it is not posting that it's in news. So I don't know why that matters. So maybe that doesn't matter. Let's see. I think that that's going to get myself, if I ever need to watch this again, and probably everyone else, pretty damned far. Uh, you can fill in all your hoonanery. Ah, hold on. Where was this? Let's see, just a sec. Hold on. Let's figure out where this is, uh, because... This is the services section, but how do you get these up? Ha ha ha, question mark. Let's tab back over to the, uh, like the one that I'm learning how to make their stuff on my stuff on. And we will go to pages where this page called services, what the hell? Oh yeah, where their page called services exists. Pages, services. Nope, not the right spot. Appearance, full screen options, service template settings, and where the hell? I just don't know. Online support, like where does that exist? 
You know? Like, this is why they have developer brain and not us brain. It looks like to uh, do the services section, services, to get your little hoonanery in here and change it, uh, that is in... Let's see, I'm sure that this had a good reason because developers are smart. Um, sometimes I've led a couple of development projects and sometimes they're f fluffing brilliant and sometimes they just don't think like humans. So here you go here, right? Full screen services and then you can do this little nonsense. Web design is right here with web design. Yay! Dummy text. Dummy text. And you can continue on and it treats it like a page, which is sweet, with all the appropriate nonsense. Good job, yay us. Let's see, we've done our team, we've done, ah, right, may as well do slides. This is where you get your big nonsense. Oh, I gotta go back. This is where you get your big original nonsense at the very top. Ghetto windows in Greece, high resolution, make sure you have a high resolution photo. You can buy yours truly. Uh, by the way, the theme does not put these sexy little lines on things the way that you are used to seeing theirs, right? They, like, there's little sexy lines here. Mine are slightly larger. I did that uh, myself. So your image will be perfectly clear uh, unless you put lines on it your damn self. So, also, I appreciate this developer for using Hot Chicks. Uh, way to sell it. Fine work. I'm a big fan of Hot Chicks, and I know that other Hot Chicks are big fans of Hot Chicks, and I think that everyone everywhere should like Hot Chicks, and if they don't, they're, you know, that's, that's, that's freaking weird. Okay, so I think that we've covered everything that matters in the whole wide world. Portfolio, uh, services, team, full screen slides. Oh, by the way, you're going to have to... I have no idea how to get this done, um, but these will come in, in in weird orders, so it's a, it seems to be highest takes precedent, or last takes precedent, excuse me, where if you put in uh, one first, it'll come out last, and that also happens inside the, uh, the little window, so like, one of these is gray, and one of these is color, notice gray, and color. This was me in my little Photoshop again. So, like the gray one and the color one. So, if I put, if I want the gray one to show up first, there's the color one, there's the gray one. If I want the gray one to show up first with that text, then I need to put the color one in first. Because the last one to be loaded, like the most recent one to be loaded inside the object and in this case, this, you know, little editor, uh, the last one to be loaded will be the first one to take precedence or show up. So last loaded, last show. And that also applies, I think, to uh, all of these. So if you wanted to put six different image transitions, you'd add three more. And if you really want one to come first, I think you're going to have to put it in last. I'm not dead certain of that, uh, but there seems to be no way that I can see to edit uh, where they show up or where they don't show up. I just don't know how to get that done. There's nothing for it. So that's as far as I've gotten so far. So since I'm probably just talking to myself, uh, I'm going to shut up. Uh, and if I'm talking to you, then I'm still going to shut up. And I'm sure that you've got some mac and cheese that you need to eat. And... I need to finish my food that is now cold now. So goodbye.